My name's Deb Gardner and I'm occupational therapist working in the Great North Children's Hospital at the RVI in Newcastle. I work on Ward 1B, which is um, a neurological re rehabilitation ward uh, for children and young people from um, birth to 18. I nominated Becca Carlson uh, for the Apprentice um, Award at the Unsung Heroes because uh, Rebecca has worked with me now for just about a year and um, she's shown immense loyalty on a very um, poor um, apprenticeship salary of under £4 an hour. Hi, I'm Becca Carlson. I'm an Apprentice Occupational Therapist Assistant here at the Great North Children's Hospital in Newcastle. On a day-to-day -day basis, we do things like theme-based therapy, story time, arts and crafts, baby massage. Um, a lot of the time we do things with communication with the children. This could be using switches for the non-verbal children, sign language, um, really adapting what communication the individual child is able to use and access. What I really love about my job is even though the children are really poorly and in hospital and it's a really scary environment for them. Doing fun things like story time and arts and crafts and activities really brightens the day even if it's just for an hour it really makes a difference and seeing the children going away with a smile really is the best thing ever. When I first was uh, employing an apprentice, I spoke to some of the parents on the ward to find out what sort of person they would like to have as an occupational therapy assistant and all of them said someone who could talk to them and I think they would mean that because children, some people are very frightened of um, children that can't speak and so all they want is someone that will walk into the cubicle and say hello to their child in a friendly, in a friendly manner. So I found that when I interviewed Becca she had a very calm presence about her and certainly she, that, that has exuded um, how she has demonstrated that um, while she's been working with me. She shows no fear of walking into a cubicle for the first time and being faced with a child that can't talk and can't walk. Some of them can't even move uh, and yet she talks to them pleasantly, um, introduces herself, she gives them hand massages and she does washing and dressing practices and she does um, meal, meal preparation as well. And I'd really like to thank um, the opportunity that Unsung Heroes have um, put this apprenticeship award forward um, for me to be able to highlight Becca and all the skills that she's brought to this this um, children's ward over the last year and in the judge for kind of recognising those skills and, and putting her forward so really thank you very much. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Deb Gardner for nominating me for this award. Not only thank you for nominating me but thank you for everything that you've taught me during my apprenticeship. I've learned so much and will continue to strive towards being an OT like you in the future.